this computer. Okay, I'm starting to record. Okay, cool. Um, Tell me when it's... Yeah, it's recording. Do Should I mute? Okay, okay. awesome. No. Well, um, I don't know. Do you want to mute? Is there background noise right now? I don't hear anything. Well, I hear a little. Okay, cool. okay. well, just during the intro, like, it should be okay. Then mute everyone when you start, okay? All right, guys, so thank you so much for jumping in here. You guys, this is going to be such amazing, valuable investment of your time because Janelle is on fire right now. So I'm so excited for you to hear from her. I literally don't want to take like any second that I, um, that I could give to her, but I'm just going to tell you like Janelle and I have become really, really good friends and that's one of my favorite parts of Lexus, but um, I, I just adore this girl and she is such a hard worker and she is a person who's like, she has just committed 100% and that's what I love about her is like she, she just won't take no for an answer and I think that that's what it really takes to get to those top levels in the company is you have to be that committed that you're like, okay, I'm going for it and I'm just going to, you know, just run for it and turn around and see who's following me. And that she's got that pace going right now that's just unstoppable. And so make sure you tell them your stats already for this month too, along with give them an update or like review what you accomplished last month and then what you've already done this month because they're going to be pretty amazed. Okay. okay, so take it away, Janelle. Janelle Wist. Okay, I'm amazing, muting. amazing. I'm just going to mute just real quick, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, well, thank you so much, Whitney. It makes me kind of nervous because I have, first of all, just a little bit about my story. I've never really done any type of network marketing before or any type of business. I actually swore myself that I would never do anything like this, but the only reason I am doing it is because it's Plexus, and that's the only reason why, is because this is the right company. Um, and it is the best company. So let me just tell you a little bit about my sets. Um, this month, it's been amazing. Um, so in the month of March, I was able to have eight level ones join. Well, actually, I had eight, eight ambassadors join. Let's see. I had four preferred customers and then I, um, actually reenacted six, um, already ambassadors that hadn't ordered for months. So, um, needless to say this month was like, I, I worked really hard, <laughs> hard for it. Um, but the, the reason why uh, Whitney wanted me to talk to you guys is not just because of what this month was. It was because of what I started in January of this year. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my next month coming up too and the reason why it's going that way. But I want to first and foremost tell you um, what um, I decided in January. And that's what's kind of like propelled me in this direction and why things are happening like this. So in January, um, I, some of you guys actually may know some of my story other than, um, let me just tell you, I started for the products and I never intended to do this business. But um, what happened is these products changed my life. Well, six months into my journey of sharing here and there and, you know, the products, my husband got really, really sick, like super sick. Um, there was a couple times I thought, you know, this could be the end. And so I was forced to really think about my life and where I wanted to go. And um, all those thoughts that came through in those months, you know, like trying just to survive and working and that kind of stuff. Well, January came and, you know, January comes and it's like, yeah, it's this new year. So I really tried to reevaluate my life because I, back when my husband was so sick and he's not anymore, thank goodness, I decided that we were in that point of our life where I may not know what my life's going to be like, and I don't ever want that to happen. And so that new mindset is what changed everything for me. And not everyone has to have like a crazy thing in their life to happen to have this breakthrough, but you can just have that thought process of you're sick and tired of what your life looks like and you want it to be different. And so you have to decide what that's going to be. And so January, I said, okay, I'm sick of what my life is. I'm sick of living paycheck to paycheck. There was a couple of months where we weren't sure that we were ever going to pay for our house payment, things like that. I wasn't going to deal with that anymore. I didn't like that. And so 
I'm just going to kind of go through the list of things that I decided to do. And um, the crazy thing is what you're going to learn is it's not going to be anything new that you haven't heard. So I'm hoping that you might get some new stuff for some of the new people, but some of the old people, like you guys already know a lot of this stuff. So the biggest thing um, is one of the first things that is I really changed my mindset. So um, I um, decided that Plexus, um, that like my, so I'm a gold ambassador and I decided that my mindset, like, cause just to let you know, I have been gold for a year now and most people, they can move a lot quicker and that's okay. Can I interject here? Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Cause, cause you've got to add that you've been gold for a year, but you added 50 points in one month last okay. month. And that is insane as a gold ambassador, <laughs> 50 point increase in one month as a gold, like that's insane. So my point exactly is that I got the mindset out of my mind that it doesn't matter if I'm gold or if I'm silver or am I whatever it is. I am going to get to the top no matter what happens and no matter what speed. It doesn't matter about where I'm at right now. It's where I'm going in the future. It doesn't even matter what happened last year. It's, I decided that January I was going to make a difference and do something different than I did last year. I wasn't going to do the same thing because what I was doing I wasn't moving anywhere. So January started and I decided to change that mindset. So, um, and I decided that I was going to go all in. Like I've always been kind of like, Oh, I want to do this plexus business and this is fun. But I decided like, this is legitimately, I'm proud to be a plexus ambassador and I'm super going all in because like, if you've heard of Whitney's income that she can make, that she makes in a year, guys, like, that would blow my mind. And I want that. And that's what I decided in January that I want that. So my biggest thing was mindset. But the next thing which it brings it to me was my next thing was my belief. And if some of you guys may not know this, but some of you do is a while ago, I didn't have a hundred percent belief in the products. I knew they worked for me, but I didn't know if they'd work for everyone else. And that has changed. I decided I'm like, when I research the products, I understand what they do. And I have a 100% belief that these products will help every single person. And changing that mindset is what has made me so bold to talk to everyone because I know that these products will help every single person. So no one can tell me like, nope, these products don't work. I don't believe you. That's not true. I don't believe that. And so changing that belief has helped me so much in being able to be more, less fearful in reaching out to people. Game changer for me because before I was like, I get to a person, I'd be like, Oh, what am I going to say to them? I don't have that worry anymore because I know these products will help them. It's huge, huge difference for me, which I didn't have that before January. And it took me a while to get there. So it's not like it's something that can happen. It can happen overnight for some people, but for me, it can happen a little bit slower. And then the next thing I decided to do, sorry, one second. Um, the next thing I decided to do. Um, in January it was self-development guys. If you aren't, I decided that I was going to read a book each month. Okay. I was going to read a self-development book each month. And if you're not doing that, you need to start. <laughs> it took me almost a year. Like I would get a book and they're like, let's do these book clubs. And I would say, okay. And I would start and I would never finish. But January I decided I was going to commit to reading one self-development book a month. And I'll tell you some of the books that I read this month, which were personal game changers for me and they might help you. And they're actually pretty easy books to read. The first one was rock your network marketing business, super cheap. It's really, really good. It's super, I read it in like two or three days. I mean, it was really easy. I'm not that fast of a reader, so that might be so for some people. Uh, the next book, um, I read was this one. And I think this is probably the biggest book that changed my life is what to say when you're, when you're um, talking to yourself and Whitney, um, actually, had me read this book. And I think this is what really bought, brought a lot of um, confidence in me and the positive self-talk that, you know, I just had so much negative self-talk guys. If you have any negative self-talk or anything, I think everyone actually, whether you're doing a plexus business or not, this is a game changer. It's changed things with my children. It's changed things with my husband and it's definitely changed things with my business. So I really, really love this book and I think everyone should read it. 
So if anyone needs to know who um, wrote that, just let me know. It's by Sh well, oh, it's, it's finally starting. It's Shad Hamels. I don't even know. <laughs> Hamels. Anyways, so um, awesome. It's a super awesome book. So um, and then I'm reading the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership this month, and so that's my next book. So I plan to read a new book every single month, and that's huge, huge for me. So. Um, if you're not reading the book every month, I mean, that, that's the thing is like, you guys are going to be learning things that, I mean, it's not even like it's anything new. So, um, so the next thing that we're going to go to, which is probably going to be the biggest song and you're probably like the most excited about to hear is like what I actually like physically did. So, okay. So I started all those things that I was going to do in January. And the next thing I decided is my IPAs. And if you don't know what IPAs mean, because I know a lot of people have been in the business a long time, but some people haven't, it's um, income producing activities. And so I decided that January 1st that I was going to do my IPAs five days a week. And I committed to doing it every day. So that's going to be kind of like the bulk of what I'm going to be talking about today is actually like physically what I did daily so that you guys can kind of hear what I did. So um, I decided that um, in January that I was going to do all these things. And we, it kind of naturally happened where um, I got, we kind of called an IPA um, accountability group. And you might have heard this, but there, um, it's just a small group of two or three of a, you know, two or three people where you just are accountable for doing your IPAs every day. And when you have someone on the other side telling you, okay, did you do it today? Or someone saying, oh, I did mine today. And you're like, well, I didn't. I have kind of a competitive personality. And so when I hear somebody did theirs today, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to get them done. And so, excuse me, that was like one of the greatest things that I thought, like it just really helped me get to be motivated to do things. So I decided that I was going to do this thing and it's called the action stack. And you might've seen it and actually it's in our files in Wellness Warriors. So everyone has access to this. Everyone can do this starting from a brand new ambassador. This is nothing different than anyone higher or lower in the business. Anyone can start this tomorrow and be successful. See, I started in January and I decided to do this every single day. And it's this thing called the 90 day push. And I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it, but they say what you do today will help you 90 days. And I am a hundred percent believer in that because look at my month of March. It was incredible. I've never really had a month like that before. So I started, what I did was I reached out to five people in Plexit for Plexus every single day. And I reached out to five people just relationship building, okay? That's all I did every single day. But when I reached out to people, I didn't just do copy and paste those just like scripts. I really tried to apply it to them. And I also decided that I was going to maybe lead with the business too on particular people. Like I had different categories of different type of people of who I thought would do the business and who I thought would do the products. And so each one of my messages, even though I had those, I mean, we have scripts that you can use. I use those scripts, but I personalize them for every single person. And a lot of times I would do them voice talking. So they'd hear my voice. So it didn't sound like I was being generic and I was doing these scripts. I was genuinely wanting to reach out to these people to help them. So I would look at their faith. I mean, it took me longer to figure out who I was going to reach out to and what I was going to reach out to them to actually, than actually reaching out to them. Cause I would look at their Facebook page and I would say, Oh my gosh, they're struggling with this. Or they, you know, were complaining about being tired or whatever the reason I saw, um, I would try to apply it to them. So I tried to make it really personal and let them know that I actually really cared about what is going on in their life. And then the five people that I reached out to, I would do that daily. I would just literally just build relationships. I didn't even, I wouldn't even talk about Plexus. These are the people that most of building relationships are people that I haven't talked to in years. Why does it look like there's cold air coming off of them? Like <laughs> and people that, um, didn't I haven't you know talked to for years or whatever I would just um just relationship build and I would almost like speak to them five times before I would even reach out to Plexus so um so what I would do during the week like I said is I would reach out to five five people with Plexus and five people with just business building and a lot of business building is just commenting on Facebook too like just talking to them but being personal towards them not just saying like hey like actually like doing something personal to them 
but another big thing I did too is I would add three new people to my um, Facebook, like three new friends. And then when I wrote, when I found those three new friends, I would put them on my Frank's list. And that Frank's list for people that don't know is like your list of all the people you know, friends, relatives, acquaintances, and so forth, that list. And I have an ongoing list that I constantly contact from. So that's what I did every day. I would five people, Plexus, five people. Re, um, anyways, you guys got it. Um, I tend, most people would say, well, then, then you would need to follow up. But what worked for me was I would just follow up on Fridays because I feel like that's what, what kind of the flow that worked for me is I would reach out to them. And then on Friday, I would follow up with all those people that I talked to. So, um, I think one of the biggest things that I've been doing more too is really the relationship building. I think that's kind of been making the difference in everything is actually trying to build relationships. So people don't just think that I'm just trying to sell them Plexus. I'm, I mean, I want to be that crazy Plexus lady, but I, I don't want people to think that all I want to do is sell them to them. I want them to know that I am Plexus. And so that if they need Plexus, they know who to go to. And so, which leads me to the next thing that I is super important is posting about Facebook every day. Here's the thing that I feel about posting on Facebook is that we need to make sure that we are just not all plexus. And I know some of us, our lifestyle is plexus and that's great, but people have to know that we have a life outside of plexus. Cause when you think about like people and you see them, Oh, they're only over posting about their dogs or they're only ever posting about their children or, or whatever. People get annoyed by that kind of stuff. So you have to give people, you know, content stuff that's interesting. So you can't just always post about plexus. Um, you need to make sure like you post at least once a day that has nothing to do with Plexus. Just whatever you want, just nothing to do with Plexus. And then you're, you can also do a personal post that has everything to do with Plexus or just information posts about Plexus. So I tend to do just one Plexus post and one personal post. And that's what I do because that's how I feel. And you can post more or let, you know, don't do less, <laughs> but, um, you can do more, but just remember that don't just always post all about Plexus. Make sure people understand that. Um, and then what leads me to the next, which I think is super amazing, Whitney has set up this amazing um, kind of schedule and, you know, month that we have the biggest opportunity ever. And let me tell you, I know she says that she has made mistakes or whatever, but she is seriously inspired and I think is one of the main reasons why my business has grown so much is because of this um I can't even think of the word the way she set the month up is just amazing so the beginning of the month so now that I've all of January I reached out to five new people almost every single day okay I only had one person join in, in January. That's it. I don't even think I got a customer. You guys, last November when they were giving away the garment, I didn't even get it. I didn't earn it. I worked my butt off and I didn't even get it. It's because I worked my butt off that month. And here's the thing is like the two months before, I barely worked and that's the reason why. So January, I worked hard, but I only had one ambassador join. And let me see, in... February, I had two ambassadors join. And then in March, I had eight ambassadors join. And then April so far, I've already had three ambassadors join. It's only the 10th. I've already had three ambassadors join. So the reason why I'm telling you like what Whitney has inspired. So the beginning, she started this in the beginning of what was it, February, Whitney, that you started this? That you started the, the, the Zoom calls and everything and the whole like setup of the month? Okay, I use this exact um, program. What I do at the beginning of the month is I reach out to as many people that I know to get to these Zoom calls. You guys, the, if you're not using these Zoom calls or if you don't have an upline that's doing these Zoom calls for you, you need to go to the next person up or find somebody that are doing these Zoom calls because I'm telling you that these Zoom calls are game changers for me. I'm telling you, every single person, I think except for... In the month of March, every single one, except for maybe one, all those people's were Zoom call peoples. So you can imagine how much those things have changed my life. They're, the information that they need, they're seeing other people, they're amazing, and you need to, to use them if you haven't. I reach out to everyone at the beginning of the month and strictly just try to get as many people that I can or that want this information to get to these Zoom calls. And that's what I do at the beginning of the month. 
And then those people, if they buy or join, great. Then I start them on the next step. And Whitney can, you know, help you with those kind of things. Um, but once those Zoom calls are done for that first week, then we have the seven day challenge. And the seven day challenge starts next Monday, guys, and you still have days to do it. All I've been doing, even the month of February, that second week, all I did was reach out to people to get to the seven day challenge. And that's all I'm doing this month. So far right now, guys, I have six people attending the seven day challenge because I've reached out to people last month. You know, the people that said they couldn't come and then I'm like, oh my gosh, we're doing it again this month. And they're like, oh yeah, I totally want to do it. I had three people that want, said that they were going to do it last month that didn't do it. And now they're joining it up on this month. So you can see by reaching out, it takes a while. You have to follow up with them. But using the seven day challenge will make a huge, huge difference. And I just start inviting people to that seven day challenge. Here's the thing, guys, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm not doing anything different or anything spectacular. All I'm doing is, is legitimately like putting in the work. I decided in January that I was going to make a designated time and I was going to put in however much time that I needed. And I decided I'm going to spend an hour every single day on my personal business. And no matter what I do, I'm going to commit that time. And if I don't have that time during that day, like today, prime example, I didn't have time to put it in. I was too busy. So after this call, I am planning on spending my hour after this and reaching out to people. It may not be an hour guys. It may be 20 minutes, but I'm going to reach out to five people and I'm going to, um, um, I can't even think of the word to um, business, not business build, but um, relationship build, sorry, to five people. And that's what I'm going to do today because it is super important to be consistent in it. If you're not doing that every day, that's the reason why your business isn't growing. And I hate to be like super blunt about it, but I'm telling you, it's a game, game changer. Mom? And I have a child coming in. Can you just run out real quick? <laughs> so, um, let me see. So wow. after that seven day challenge, you ought, you just, it's just like literally reaping the harvest. So we just start, they just, honestly, people, I've, I've given them all the information. They have the seven day challenge and now people are joining. And that's exactly, that's what the thing is. I'm not trying to like say that there's anything really, really special that I did other than I just really reached out to people. You guys, we have yeah. soup scripts. Can you just... Can you hold on one second? Can you go outside for a second? Can you go out? <laughs> children, that's, that's, that's life. We have children that just come in and just talk to us and we're moms and we have what, you know, life just happens. So, um, I think the biggest thing is, um, I want to come across to you guys is if you're feeling like you're in a place where your business isn't growing and you're stagnant, like you really just need to go back to basics. And that's what I decided. I was like, okay, I'm sick of just being in the same spot. And I know that there's this 90 day rule, whatever you do now, 90 days is going to grow. And I decided that I'm going back to basics. I'm going to do what I've been told to do from the very beginning that I was a silver. And I'm just going to do that every single day. And when you do that every single day, you can have months like I did. I mean, where we have eight people that join, which I can't even imagine. Like, that's crazy to me. So. You just really need to decide like what your goals are this month and, um, and go from there. You know, everyone says that they're, they're, they say that you should try to go silver every single month. And that's my goal is I'd like to go silver every single month. And so in order to do that, you need to decide how many people you want to reach out every day or how much time you want to commit to your business every day and then grow from there. Um, okay, hold on. Can Whitney, can you hold Help help me out here. I have a son that's just trying to. Yep. No worries. Who's I think I think we got a lot of mamas on here that totally understand. So no worries. He's like mom, mom. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So um, is he good to go, or do you want me to? Okay. All right. Go ahead. So um, I think um, I, I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> um. So I think the only. I, that's the thing is like, I don't really have very much more to tell you other than I just went back to the basics. And so doing those things, like if you need scripts or you need that, we have all of those things that you guys can use. Um, you just have to make them personal. Let me read some of these questions. 
Um, it says, what are some of the things you say to people when you reach out plexus wise and about how many, how many are responding? Okay. So the things that I usually say, um, so first of all, I use tons of scripts, but the thing is, is I make them super personal to each person. So I find out what they want and then I get that across them. I don't give people tons of information because it's too difficult for them. And I've always been told that it's best to get them on the phone. So that's what I do. And I try to listen. So I usually just say, um, I find out what they want. And, um, when I, the people that I reach out to, I tend to, if I reach out to like 10 people, I will maybe get one response and a lot, couple no's. And those no's, I put them in kind of a pile and then I only build relationship with those no's. Um, I don't continue to reach out with them to, to Plexus unless um, there's like some type of in, like if they say, oh my gosh, I'm struggling with this, this is really bad. And I'll, and I'll tell them something about that information. Like, oh, this can help you with this. So I, I don't continue to reach out to the no's other than business building because eventually those no's can turn into yeses. Um, so my inactives. Okay. What I did to reenact some of my inactives is I use the tools that we have already. So Whitney, we had that one month where we did that video of the, um, plexus and a glimpse. And I reached out to every single one of my inactives and I asked them to be a part of it. And some of them, I would say that like not very many people, people reached out, but I have a lot of inactives and I even went down to my second and third levels that people that aren't really doing plexus anymore. I reached out to them and I did my own kind of, um, um, like, um, contest, but that didn't actually really work. But what it did was it sparked, no, no one actually did it, which is hilarious that I did this, but what it did is it, it reenacted um, or it sparked conversation. And so I was able to talk to the people and find out what their concerns were and why they stopped and what was really happening so I can address some of the concerns and reenact them. So that's all, that's really the only thing I did was just really reach out to them and genuinely reach out and find out like what really happened. I, like a lot of times I would say, oh my gosh, I saw that you stopped. I'm so sorry. Why did you stop? You know, and I would do it from talking so they can hear my voice because if they here in text, it's like really hard to hear like the genuine voice behind it. So a lot of those people, I would actually, you know, do a Facebook voice messenger because they can hear it from your mouth. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I did. Um, Danielle, can you clarify on that? Because I'm a little confused. You said you gave them their own contest. So I did. And they didn't really participate in the contest, but what they did do is it brought them back to, did they actually watch the video? That's what I want to know. Yeah. So, yeah. So they, that's what I thought. Yes. So they actually watched, well, I mean, I'm guessing they did. I don't really know because they never sent me the code back. So here's the thing. I oh, sent it out to like 30 people, 30 of my inactives, and no one sent me the code back, but I did get a lot of people saying, well, you know, I've been really thinking about trying it again, but they didn't send me the code back. So I never did the contest. Oh. It sparked conversation. So it gotcha. was kind of a fun end because it gave them a chance to be like, oh, I'm winning money, but no one, it's funny because no one did it but it got them the information and sparked their interest. Like, well, maybe I really wasn't consistent. Maybe I really could give this a try again. And yeah. So I bet most of them did watch the video. I really it was enough it. to really bring their interest back. Exactly. Um, so I think what I love, um, what I think the biggest strategy in the inactives is really just like actually reaching out to them and coming from a genuine place and finding out what they need and not cause you don't, I know we all want points because we want to level up and make more money. But if you really reach out to them and find out what they need and why they stopped, you can a lot of times address a lot of their concerns. So, um, is there something special you said to your inactive ambassadors to get them started ordering again? I think that's kind of the same thing. I didn't really say anything special other than just trying to find out their, um, I can send some of like in the comments, I can go look back at some of my inactives and see what I said to them. And I'll just, screenshot some of the replies. Um, oh, and another, another thing. Um, so Tara just asked to share your organization sheet. So I have a kind of a special way that I organize, organize. Can you tell me about some of your favorite Plexus products and why you love them? And so that's a good way to get them talking about like what they loved about Plexus. And a lot of times that naturally brings up the conversation of why they wish they could still order, but they can't, or they had a bad experience because they got discouraged or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So that's kind of just 
um, something valuable. My internet went out. That was weird. Can you guys You're hear good me? Now? Yes, sorry, yeah. my internet went out. That's crazy. So I'm gonna share my screen and just to show you guys how I um, organize my um, my Frank's list, and it has been a game changer for me. So um, you can actually get the sheets in the files. Um, I use Google Sheets because I don't have sheets or any type of um, Excel, and I literally just fill in the name. I fill in. So this first one right here is the list of all the names of the people and I highlight people that have ordered and people that are on my dream team. And I write in the first, first area is the details, all the information I know about them. If they've ever tried a sample, their contact dates. And, and then I have these follow-ups. So there's a video and I'm not gonna tell you guys how to do this because it's gonna take too long. I'll have to find the video and I'm pretty sure Emily my near has it because she's the one who shared it with me um, this has been able to make me so I have been completely organized with who I need to contact I mean I have as you can see I have a lot of blanks of people that I haven't even reached out to um, as you can see the red ones are people that said no that they don't want it and I'm still gonna relationship build so I constantly add people to the bottom of my list every single time and the reason why I like Google Sheets is because you can put it on your phone and you can also reach it on the go at any time that you want so um, you'll have to watch the video to really learn how to do it because I don't want to go into detail but this sheets have been a game changer and as you can see like this person Annie Marshall I've got it set up where I'm supposed to reach out to her today see everyone that's highlighted so I know all the people that I'm supposed to reach out to today that I contacted a few days ago so it's to reminding me to go and reach out to those people to follow up so that's why I really love it because I don't lose anybody anymore like there's been times where I have someone said that they were gonna order and I forgot because you just life it happens you get busy and I never reached out to them and I don't even know I mean like I tried to talk to them and if they're just gone now and I just lost, you know, I don't have them anymore, which is unfortunate, you know, because, you know, I could have helped them and, you know, I could have made more money. But so the big thing is the fortune is in the follow up. And that's what you'll learn is you I just decided that in January I was going to get organized. I was going to step up to the plate and actually work my business and not say I'm going to work my business. I stopped searching Facebook like I used to. I actually am obsessed with TV, but I'm not. I stopped watching TV. I chose to put the business and I talked to my family, I chose to put business in one of my top priorities. I mean, it's family, well, the church, you know, my religion, family, and then my business. And I have to tell you that it has made all the difference. And another big thing, and this is different for everyone, I decided that I was going to actually pray about my business. And a lot of people, you know, meditate by your business. Think about who you can help and stop thinking about trying to make money and think about who can benefit from this business and the products. And it'll be all the difference. So, um, if anyone else has any questions, let's see, um, says I have a hard time with people I know cannot afford plexus and say they can't and they don't want to do the business. So how can I help them? I think, um, one of the biggest things is you, they need to come from a place of understanding that it's actually cheaper to, uh, to pay for plexus and maybe Whitney you can actually probably tell this one a lot better than I can because I've learned everything from Whitney how would you address that question Whitney can you hear me yeah you're cutting out a lot oh, really? Dang it. <laughs> yeah um, yeah well I think you got to find out like what their priorities are and help them see what they're spending their money on now because a lot of times people we think can't afford Plexus, they're spending $300 a month on soda or, you know what I mean? Like they're, they, they find ways to get the things that they want, um, even if they don't have a lot of money. And so it's just a matter of like teaching them the benefits are more valuable. Um, it's an investment and when you can help them just really see like I mean I really believe anyone can afford this and then if it really comes down to it like what one products could they benefit from you know what I mean like there's most of our products are $35 or less and that you know that could be just 
one product that helps them fall in love and helps them see that the investment is worth it and that they can find ways to move their money around because they're spending money somehow. And also, I think I'm going to be straight up on this. If people are telling me that money is an issue, then Plexus is not a priority for them because they'll spend money on other places, just like Whitney said. So you really, the people that constantly say, oh, I can't afford it, I can't afford it, you're, it's not a priority to them. And maybe they're not ready quite yet. They haven't seen the value in it, and they maybe need to wait later in your journey. So don't stop on those people, keep filling them, loving on them. And then eventually maybe, and I've had people that year, I mean a year where I've been working on them, they said they can't afford it, can't afford it. And now they're, they're paying for it every month and they're not even working the business. So to say that people can't afford it, it just has to be a priority for them. I mean, some people can't, but they they'll make it if they want it. So go ahead. Oh, Sarah, you I, go first. Can I say something real fast about what you just said? Cause, um, that I, I have been on a roll now, it's been too much straight, where I have had every single ambassador and preferred customer I've had join my team has never even asked the price. Mm -hmm. So, and I've really started to look at that. So what am I saying and what am I doing that nobody has even asked the price or even questioned it? And it has to do with providing that value from mm -hmm. the start, how this is going to value them what they're going to be able to replace, how much better they're going to be able to feel that 60 day money back guarantee. And I don't even send a price sheet anymore. I mean, I was always sending that people will ask the price. I just start asking questions about them. Next thing I know they're ordering. They've never even asked the price. Well, it's because you're addressing their concerns before it's either, before they're even asking it. So they don't have to, they don't have to ask that question that I, I'm the same way. Like I, like I said, I had eight people join and I would say that, I think seven out of the eight joined the, um, got the Fab Four, which never happened in the past. It's because, first of all, we're promoting it. Me too. The benefits of it. And so if you don't, t if you don't tell people about you know, the ease and the nerve and the edge and all those other stuff, people are not going to buy it. So you have to you know, show the value in it. Um, I totally agree with that. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm in proof of Tara's, Tara's process with that. Um, I'm like right underneath her, but I'm a 20 something year old. I'm 23 and I fully pay for all of my Plexus products on my own and bust my butt as an ambassador. But because people and this team and all the different online groups and stuff that we have, have created so much value and belief in these products, I'm all in. And when I tell, talk to my friends and I talk to my friends who are 20 somethings and they have their disgusting Starbucks in their hands with all the sugar and crap in it, I like make a face at them. I'm like, you're wasting your money, dude. Like, what are you doing? And like, they like look at you all weird and like, I don't ever push it. And I'm just like, oh, but you couldn't afford it. Right. Like I just say little digs like that. It's like, how much was that coffee? But I, I'm a really playful personality. So I could probably get away and walk that line a lot easier. Cause you could just hear it in my voice. Like I got the little prankster in me. But it's true, like anyone can afford this crap. And if they're just feeding you those, like the, oh, I can't do it, then they need a little priority check in their life. Be like, really? Because I know a 23 year old that lives on her own that's doing this and she can still afford it and pay for all of her stuff. So I don't think it's that expensive. Okay. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's totally true. It's priorities with everyone. I mean, people have what they want to pay for. So I totally agree with that. Um, one of the questions here, it says, how long do you wait to follow up? So it depends on the person. If it's something that is time sensitive, it's usually one to two days, but normally I follow up every Friday because that tends to work. I feel like if you are constantly following up every day after you talk to them, people get annoyed. So you, you just kind of have to play it, but, but depending on what the conversation was like. So usually if I give them information or I give them video and they want them to watch them, I give them one to two days or even till Friday, depending on how busy I am. And I'm just like, you know, just checking up if you watch that video. And one thing I'm going to tell you that has been a game changer that I kind of, I, and maybe most of you already do this. I, first of all, I say, what do you think after everything? I get their opinion and get them talking every single time. And then I say, if I don't hear back from you in a day or so, I'm going to check back with you at this time, or I'm going to check back you, with you in a few days. I say that to everybody. So I never, ever get people that are annoyed with me of checking back up and following with them because they have expectations from the very beginning. I tell them that I'm going to do that. So I don't have any problems with people saying, stop contacting me or doing this. I don't ever have that problem. 
So um, that's something that I, you guys can implement right away. Like if I don't hear back from you in a day or so, I'm going to check back with you. And so they know you're going to, they know you're going to come and talk back to them. So any other questions? I think, um, like I said, guys, it's not like I did anything that you don't already know. I just, I just did the work. And I'm not saying that if you put in all this work, you're going to get eight ambassadors at the end. But I promise you, if you guys put the work in, you guys will see the benefit from it. And I know it because I'm seeing it right now. I did the work. And you know what happened is what I'm noticing is like, so March, I was so busy. And I'm worried because I didn't put as much IPAs as I did. So I'm wondering, and I'll be interested to see, is if in two months I don't see that benefit of not continuing to do my own personal business every single day. Because like, you guys, we get busy. It's hard when you start having this business and full of everything. So I feel like we're taking up too much of your time. So is there, are we doing good? So I just really appreciate the, um, the program that we have with our, our team right now and the support that we have. And if you guys aren't utilizing it, you guys need to start get in with our team and learn from them and use them the best that you can. Cause like I said, we are one plexus and just, just kind of like soak it all in guys. It's, it's just awesome. So I really appreciate it. So perfect. Thank you, Janelle. That was phenomenal. And I love the fact that, um, you know, it's, it's just proof that, you're not doing anything that people have never heard before for the most part. It's just a matter of you are committed and you're all in and you're consistent. And that's something that we talked about in our leadership call, just barely for those of you that were on there is you're consistent and that's huge. So, um, big deal. That's awesome. Uh, so can everyone please give Janelle a big thumbs up or a big Laura kiss, let her know how amazing she is and how much we appreciated her time tonight. Thank you, and Becky. I know, I mean, I, I fully believe like Janelle said, she can't guarantee like, you know, three months from now that you'll get eight new ambassadors, but I really believe that you will, if you do like these things that she's telling you that she's been doing every day, like, and, and obviously it's, you know, second month of harvesting and she's already blowing it up. So we love you, girl. It You're makes awesome. A huge, huge difference, guys. It's that 90 day push start. You guys can see what it's going to be like in 90 days. I promise if you guys just commit, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing every 90 days. I'm working on this, this thing. So I committed again, you know, this month I've started five people, five I've been committing this month too. So we'll see, I can tell you in three months, we'll see what it looks like. And maybe I'll just have this continuing. Like, can you imagine how, bringing on eight ambassadors every month for a whole year? That would be insane. That'd be amazing. So. Right. Especially with the new system we're using where we're getting people to post right away so quickly yes. and then they're seeing the potential so quickly and we're helping them go silver so quickly. So yeah, that's a big deal. So I hope you're reading all the chats, Janelle, the chat oh, yeah. messages because yeah. everyone's giving you huge shout outs and you deserve it. So <laughs> thanks girl. Love you. Everyone have a great night. You guys have a great night. Thank you so much guys. See ya. Awesome.